Okay, girls. Here's my video two on my first scrapbook mini album. And I was showing you the art page and realized too that Disconso Gardens, where I said I took that lily pad picture, is not in Pasadena. It's it's in the valley somewhere, but the Huntington Gardens is the one that's in Pasadena. Anyway, so there's that art page. And here's a page about time. I had gotten the clock in um, some art that I got in a swap. The papers have uh, not too much dimension to them because I didn't want the book to spread out way too far. There's a quote here about time. Um, music, as you can see in the clock. This is a tile from that um, girl who has the shop, Cimarroni. And she's at Etsy.com. And a number. Here's a sparkly flower that came that way. I found the words shine. So that. And I love paisley. Everybody loves paisley, don't they? So here is Hope, Love, and Miracles. And I'll tell you, that's good for me to remember. Here's good times, and I thought maybe we could put a picture there. Something we'd done. This um, is one of the Kesara Sara strips that I just cut a piece off of. This is the K and Company. Um, I found some of the words that are in this. Um, words and sentiments are in those. Um, Mira and um, I don't know what other um, artist did them besides Brenda Walton, but they're, they come in the little tins that look kind of like a mini lunchbox, and those are really good, I'm finding out, to make the um, minis out of because um, you can have an instant sentiment there. So this is um, another bird art, and I got that off the internet and then stamped love over it and put a little um, journaling spot. Here's something from Descanso Gardens again that was, um, I took a picture of a koi pond. So now my little kids next door out again. So I hope you can hear me and, now, and everybody says my voice is too soft, too quiet. Sorry. I'll try to be a little bit more loud. This is a um, photo op. I'm going to be ignoring that phone because it's too far away from me. And um, I thought we could put a picture here on this mellow. And here's the last pocket. That's, um, I made a tag that says believe. And um, got the flower from the handmade from um, K and Company, and I really do like them. And uh, oh, that was my sweetie. Uh, I really like uh, everything that's in that handmade line. That is just beautiful. It's like a combination of collage and sewing and. It's just really great. I I don't have any hold any interest in I've mentioned them a lot. I put a butterfly on the back, a vintage card with a pheasant, I guess that is. A memo card from Seven Gypsies. Some more of my vintage tickets. And I made this like a pocket too. Um 
and then took one of the can company uh, embellishments that was a rose and glued it to the back. So that is my first mini. Hope you like it and hope you I didn't talk your ear off and hope that you um, will try and go and see any number of tutorials are on there. Everybody's just so great and I feel really humbled to be showing mine. But um hope you'll go on YouTube and follow somebody's tutorial to make one. So since that one turned out, <laughs> I decided that I would make another one and probably sell this one in my Etsy shop or on my eBay shop, which is Poppy and Nani. All one word, P-O-P-P-I-E-A-N-D-N-O-N-N-I-E, Poppy and Nani. Normally, I sell vintage books and craft books, but I will um, put this kind of book on there for auction. So this one is kind of a garden theme, and so I'll get to showing you this pretty quick. Here's tag that says bloom love these are seven gypsies papers laughter this is a photo mat that I made and this is a vintage music um, card <laughs> you can hear those kids they're on a trampoline so they're obviously having a lot of fun I'm going to have to do another video to show the other half of this, but anyway, that's the way I could do it today. Um, just took a lot of stuff out of my packages of ephemera and art that I use on my collages. This is a little vintage envelope. These Some of these things are from Mira, too, like the love word. Um, this is a tag that was um that I bought a package from a package which I bought at Etsy and she's no longer on there which makes me sad um this one I used a quarter holder again and we'll put a quarter in that <laughs> and um that's just a vintage little mini envelope in all of these I put, um, these were greeting cards from a company called IOTA and they were just blank but I just decided to give some solidity to the envelope and to the bag. And then you can write your own sentiments and use it for a journal page. This is a photo mat. This is a page with a butterfly, and um, actually it's two butterflies. It just has just a little dimension on the wings, but it's been um, painted by my friend Shelly, who has a shop called Susie A, all one word, at Etsy.com, and she's the one that I've sh uh, I have showed you her journals before. She's the one that does, does beautiful, and just really beautiful um, journals and um, art kits and tags. So this is a K Seurat Seurat from K and Company um, sticker, and those are really ornate and really bright and beautiful colors. That's the bag flap. This one um, I just put "Believe in Yourself" on the the um, pocket tag I made. Uh, pocket tag holder, whatever you call it, um, and again I have butterflies on this tag, this is King Company tag, Believe in Yourself, Butterfly, and there's a butterfly under there too that I stuck on, Good Times, and a place to put a photo. Um, this is a photo mat. Sorry, I'm trying to work with one hand. 
Christmas of Scripture, Isaiah 40, 31. And it's a really great one. So we'll go to the next video, video number three.